Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to set up my A5 Daily Duo. Um, little caveat here. I tried the Daily Duo 7x9 last year and it was just too much space for my daily things because I'm a teacher and all of my daily things generally go in my teacher planner. So I wanted to try this smaller size but I'm still not quite sold on it. So we're gonna set it up and we're gonna see how it goes, okay? Um, I'm going to do the July monthly today. I pulled out a few things. I have some little like uh, fireworks from Rose Color Days, 4th of July Phyllis from MP Designs Co. I don't know if this shop is still open anymore. Um, some date covers from Simply Gilded. Um, I like these. I wish the numbers stood out more, so I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna use them. I also have like a 4th of July themed sampler from Simply Gilded. The Coffee's Monsters Co. Um, 4th of July sheets. Um, monthly, this is Scribble Prince Co. Um, silver, I thought I'd go with silver. And then I just quickly whipped up a um, little kit for the monthly since I don't have any in any sizes from any other shops. Um, so this is from my shop, Chocolate Lab Coffee Co. I don't have it in the shop yet because I'm not really quite sure if I like it yet. So we're going to test it out today. So here we have a notes strip, some boxes. I mean, these boxes just seem really small for me. So I'm not quite sure if this size is going to work. And then I put all of the months on there because I figured if I do put it in the shop, I like people to be able to choose the month that the kit goes towards. Maybe they want to use this for May and patriotic, or, you know, maybe there's this theme for somewhere else that they want to use it. Um, so the second sheet in this um, are the covers and the empty boxes and some dots and days of the week. So let's get started and see how this works out. So with the A5, I haven't put my name in here yet um, that centered for you so we have the vellum I haven't I really I haven't done anything in here yet I haven't decided um, I saw it in another video and I can't remember who I was watching yesterday but they had a good idea of putting the other six months because this goes um, July through December so putting the other six months of the year here so that you could you know forward plan which I like that idea too. Um, I might do that, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, I do like the size of this as far as it being compact, I can take it with me. Um, my other planner I've been using lately is the Moxie Life and it's just, it's really big. And so it just stays on my desk at home and then I have to come back and I remember to fill it in and that doesn't always happen. So I was looking for something more compact. Um, I've also been using my petite planner system just for the summer because I don't need to write so many things down and I leave it by my nightstand since I'm home. Um, so I'm really just taking the summer to figure out what, what's going to work next. Um, you never know. Um, I may end up back in a hourly. I may end up back in a vertical seven by nine. Um, We'll see what happens. Okay, so July monthly, uh, the mid-century circles. I really do like the mid-century circles. Now, I do have the teacher planner for this year that's mid-century circles, and I'll probably leave that in my teacher planner and not sticker it up because I do like this design. So I'm not feeling too bad about covering this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these on here. Now, like I said, we're testing this kit. I just spent yesterday making this to see if I would like it. Um, so we'll see how this goes. So in theory, in theory, I made this kit to go all the way to the edge to cover the design. And I could white out the design a little bit, but it's blue. I'm not too worried about it. Um, so let's see. Not too bad. It's right on the edge. Okay, I like that. Okay, so I also added this uh, 
kind of whited out line on here um, so that um, you could put the days of the week. So um, I'm gonna keep this as a Sunday start and go ahead and just pop those on there. Um, I know a lot of people like to change to a Monday start and I completely get it. They want to put their weekends together. Um, for a monthly calendar though, I've, that kind of confuses me. Um, it, it looks a little unbalanced to me. I prefer the Sunday start. Um, not that I won't ever change it to the other. Um, but for now I'm just going to go with what works. Okay. All right, so far so good. Let's see, so for this, since I'm testing it out, it looks like I could have scooted this over a little bit more. I made this a little bit longer to go down to that line, but I really wanted to make sure I was getting to the edge. You can see a little bit of the mid-century circles design right there, but you don't really notice it, so I'm gonna go with that. All right, let's flip over and do the other side. So, um, <laughs> I always flip my planner upside down to put these on. Um, okay, so I'm gonna try to get this right on the corner. And that that's one thing that, I don't know, it, it looks good having it come off the corner if you're not stickering up your planner. But I think it's also something that a lot of people are struggling with right now is their stickers and you let it show, do you white it out? you know, um, so, but we're just going to go with it. We're going to make it work. Uh, let's see. I've got Thursday next. So I, and you know, I'm, I've also been leaning towards, I don't really have a whole lot of time for my sticker shop except for the summertime. And, um, during the school year, I am so busy that, you know, I, I'm thinking about trying um, putting my stickers in a um, printable version. Um, I haven't quite decided on that yet, but we'll see. Um, it's learning a new technique, right? So at this point, I'm making it for myself. Um, so again, you can... You can see the shadowing of the mid-century circles. So if it bothers you, you could white it out, but it's red, white, and blue. And at, at this point, I don't really care. So I could put this here at this line, or I could put this here. So here's the other thing that is hard. Um, with the way they lined all of this up, right? So I made this to go the size of the lines. And like I said, I'm doing this as a test kit. However, I could have made it longer to go here, you know, um, I didn't and that's okay. And previously there was a calendar here, um, for the future dates and they didn't do that because they put it every day here. <sighs> I wish it was here instead, um, for forward planning. However, it is what it is. So I kept this shorter. Um, maybe putting some deco here or something else I would want to write down. So, so far, this is what we have. I think it looks cute. You know, I went for very simple. Um, so the next thing I have is, like I said, I put the months here. So I could take the July sticker. Here we go. And I could throw July up here, like so which I think would be cute. Or I could come and put this foiled one. And you know, the foiled one, I, it doesn't stand out as much as I would like it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, I think I'm gonna center it right there. Okay, that's cute. We'll go with that. All right. Okay. So I've decided I'm not using that one, so I'm gonna put that to the side. Um, and the other thing I'm coming across is a lot of my you know, deco stickers and things like that, little full boxes, extra things, 
are sized much bigger for this. So, um, I also have these um, lined stickers here that I made. These just these little boxes, and this was meant to fill in these four. And now I did this. I thought, oh, it looks kind of like a flag, right? Um, some people like to put these in the middle, so I didn't connect it all you know as one big strip I went ahead and kept them separate so you could choose where you wanted to put them I want to move that up just a little bit uh, in the past I've made kits where the design continues down here and I like doing that um, but I was going for real simple on this one and so um, I'm going to go ahead and line these up on here. You, know, you can hear my son in the background. He is in a epic battle on Fortnite. Do your kids play Fortnite? If you have kids, do you play Fortnite? I don't quite understand it, but he enjoys it. He's having fun. So here's the other issue I've come across with the formatting on a new kit type is okay so that could be a little longer the the way that the boxes are open completely here it's almost like this box is longer than or this box is longer than this box these two can be smaller and really filling this in here I now have a gap I don't know I don't know we're just gonna, I'm gonna go with it and new things, new things. Okay, so let me go ahead and get these date dots on here. I mean, my other concern is that as I'm going through this, um, you know, putting the date dots because the boxes are so small, is this planner size too, too small to add, you know, the date dots if you like to have them on there? You know, it's taking up a lot of room for things you might put in your monthly, but I guess that depends on what you're going to put in your monthly, right? The things that I generally put in my monthly are um, forward planning, um, holidays that are coming up, um, work items, uh, kids appointments, that kind of thing. Um, so it shouldn't fill up too much. I've also seen some people where they do like monthly highlights and that would be cute, but I think that for this size, it would be too small. But what do I know? I haven't tried it yet. Um, so I don't know. Let me know about down below what you're putting in there. What do you think of this size? Have you tried this size? Um, I'm not gonna lie, I totally bought it on um, launch day because I thought it was cute. I wanted to try it. I was really hoping for a vertical in this size. Um, vertical all the stickers would still fit no reformatting needed and I mean what do you get rid of in a vertical in this size I mean the sidebar right um, you can still put all of your things in the vertical and you have the dashboard so I'm still not quite sure why the vertical has not happened yet um, other shops do it I've seen uh, I think it's Lights Planner Action and Print Pression, maybe, that have the vertical in this size. Um, I haven't purchased those uh, mainly because of the paper for EC and the coil. So the other shops do have a really strong coil. I like how thick this is. It's very durable, um, but never say never. Um, I change my mind all the time so 
getting these on here. There's not really a whole lot going on for July. Um, July is the one full month that I have off of work with my kids in their home. And really it's day by day, what are we gonna get into? What are we gonna do that day? Um, what type of maintenance things need to be done around the house, doctor's appointments, those kind of things, because during the school year it is just too hard to get into a lot of that stuff. Um, so I did have some swimming lessons set up for them. And then, so we had that set up for all the mornings and then they called in. My daughter apparently has aged out of the level that I selected off of, I selected it because that was the level they told me last year that she would need to be in. And look at that clean page. Nice. Okay. It's always nice to finish a sticker sheet. So yeah, they called me yesterday and they said that she couldn't be in that level um, because of she has aged out of that. And like, well, that's the level that you guys told me she would need to be in next year. And so we canceled that. And lo and behold, the ones that she needed to be in are full already. Frustrated mom. Okay, so we're not doing that. I guess we're just going to do some swimming together this summer instead of swimming lessons. Okay, so what is it we need to add in here? I'm going to pull up my calendar here. Um, July. Um, okay, so I've got 4th of July here, and I didn't make yet. So these are things that I'm, you know, note to self, do I want to add the holidays and things? Because it's already written here, and how much room do I really have to put that kind of stuff in? So I think what I'll do is use one of these Coffee Monsters Co. That's really cute. This little emoji watching the fireworks. I like that one. Um, I like this guy waving his little flag too. I think I'm gonna do this one down here. I'm just gonna stick it right here next to where it says Independence Day and that's marked. Okay, I like that, that's cute. Okay, um, on the 7th, oh, can you hear that? It just really started raining out there. Oh no, I don't wanna use these, this one because it's lined. I'll do a blue one. Look how tiny this is, this is just teeny tiny. Um, on the 7th, there's a dentist appointment. So we've gotta put that in there. Um, and then my son does start <clears throat> flag football on Saturdays and I don't know if I want to fill that whole thing with those, but it would be kind of cute to use these, right? Okay. Let's get that off there. So that would be the 10th that that starts. I could just put little fireworks here. That's cute. Okay. So that's going to be for his flag football. We got those for, it's like really early in the morning, like at nine, eight or nine, to try to beat the heat. So that'll be fun. Come off of there. Okay. So we'll put that there. All right. Um, and then, let's see, I didn't make any washi strips in this kit, um, however, okay, so, went and grabbed a couple washi here, um, let's see, I like this, um, this blue with the um, color block. This is Simply Gilded. Um, I don't know if it exactly matches my blue here though. I mean, it, it's a little off. Um, and then I have the red and the blue. Like I'll just go with this blue right here. So I need to block off this week, the 18th. we are busy 
here. I'm just going to rip it. I'm not going to make it perfect. It's 23rd. You all know, know if you've been on my channel before, it's not about perfect for me. Um, okay. And then my sister in law has a birthday here. So we're going to put. That's really crooked. It's hard to work when the coil's so low right there. Um, yes, that was the 26th. Hmm. Not liking how this is going in. Didn't I just say it doesn't have to be perfect and now here I'm fiddling with the sticker because I don't like how it's going in. Go figure. All right, so that's her birthday. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little emoji here with a flag and a cute little drink. Okay. Um, oh, you know what? That one would be cute too for her. No, I'm gonna leave it. I like it. Okay, so as far as July goes, as far as July goes, this is it so far. Um, it will fill in things will happen. Um, how do I feel about it? Let's see. It's tiny. It's cute. I still need to write in these and see if I can write small enough, but if it's just an overview, I think it will work. So what do I have left of the kit that I created is just the months. I mean, those I knew would be left over, but those could be used in other spots where you need kits or months. And then, you know, I have all my labels to use the rest of the month as things come in. Um, the other thing I ended up using was my Coffee Monsters Co. emojis and the Rose Colored Days. And I threw in a Simply Gilded Washi. So, um, yeah. That's it for now. Um, I'll try, probably be filming some more in this planner. Again, this is the Daily Duo and this is the A5 size um, as a setup as I go along trying to see if I like it. So check out some more videos on my channel coming up for those setups. So um, thanks for joining me. Let me know in the comments if there's any other things you'd like to see. Um, if you're interested in the printables of this kit, um, let me know. I'm working on maybe adding that to the shop and like and subscribe, share with your friends, and have a great day. Bye!